Hello, everyone. This is Jeff Wilkerson, professor of physics at Luther College. Uh, what we're doing here today is I'm just going to walk you through how I kind of calculate the uncertainty in linear fit parameters in kaleidograph, a very useful thing uh, to do uh, for much of our data analysis. So what you see before you here is I've just put in some data. Uh, X and Y data, it's just, I just made it up. Um, and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to plot it. Make a scatter plot. X on the X, X on the Y. Plot it. Looks good there. And I'm going to do a linear fit. So now we've done a linear fit to the data. And you can see there's a little bit of uncertainty there. The, the points don't fall exactly on the line. I didn't put a lot of noise in there, but there's a little bit of scatter around that line, and you see this. Now I'm going to go back up here to curve fit, and I'm going to do something that's kind of fun. Under here, where it says view, I'm going to say copy the parameters to the data window. Copy the curve fit to the data window right here. Okay? And then we're going to go back over to our, um, okay, and let's see, there's our um, fit values that are in here um oh i didn't um so here's the x values it rewrote uh, i'm not sure what all that is down there um but there's the x values it rewrote over here for us um i see it it, it it's doing for some reason i'm not sure why it's choosing this um why it's choosing to, to to give us a whole bunch of points when i really just wanted the fit parameters uh fit over here let's try one more time and see what it does this time i don't think it's going to work for us copy residuals let's see what actually happens when we do that okay so now this is um our deviation from uh, the the fit. So this is actually what we eventually wanted anyway. Is to say this is the deviation, uh, the difference between the fit and the actual data point right here. So we have different difference between the fit and the data point, the fit and the data point, the fit and the data point. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write into this column out here. Uh, the value of x squared. And so I'm going to come out here and I'm going to say uh, c4 is equal to um, c0 squared. So I've written the squares out here. And I'm going to come over here. Now, there's, there, there are other ways we could do this. We could do this a little bit more automatically. Uh, than what we're doing here right now. Uh, but I like to do some things kind of automatically, like writing these residuals in. Uh, we skipped a step there. I was going to put do a step in the middle that you saw, but we, we're going we're gonna to put these residuals in sort of automatically from the fit. Um, I could have calculated those residuals. I could have put in the formula for the fit over here and calculated them. I like to show different ways to think about doing this. Um, and so we could be more automatic about doing these sums and just writing these sums into a formula. But what I'm going to do here right now is I'm going to say uh, this is the residual, the y deviation sum. I'm calling that the sum of the residuals. It's the sum of the deviations uh, of, the, uh, of the fit from the line over here. If you can see, uh, what we're doing is we're calculating the uncertainty in the slope, and we need to know point by point how the, the, the data value minus the fit, what this was, and we're going to square that. So we actually should square that first. So let's go in here and square the residuals. So let's actually just go over here and call this residual squared. So let's do that first. And let's just say that C3 now is equal to c1 squared no c2 squared excuse me so there you go so that's our that's the square of our residuals and now i'm going to sum that square that's up doing this sum right here that you see okay so i'm going to sum that square 
over here and oh, let's just do it this way. We could again, we could do this various ways, but let's just come up here and do this uh, with column statistics. And the sum is 0.18268. So I'm just going to write that in here, 0.18268. Okay. And then I'm going to sum the x squares. With column statistics again, we could do this in the formula entry window. We could we could do all of this at one time, uh, but the sum is 385, and then the x sum is going to be out here is going to be 55, and now this is our uncertainty in the slope. Remember, we had our slope over here. Let's go back and look at our slope. Our slope was 1.9943. That's that term right there. So a slope that's 1.9943. The uncertainty in that slope is going is given by this so long as this expression right here. So long as uh, our uncertainty in x's, our scattering the x's is, a, is, is, is insignificant. So we have insignificant uncertainty in our x values that we dialed in our, um, our sort of independent variable, if you will. And so long as the data points all carry the same weight, and that is to say, we're not, we don't have some data points out there in Y where we have a large, large uncertainty, so we don't weight those in our fit very much. So, so ignoring those, this is our uncertainty, and we can do this otherwise. Uh, but we just we want to find the uncertainty of the slope with those assumptions here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this in. So we have ten data points. That's n here. N is 10 data points, and we just did the sum of this, and we just did the sum of this and the sum of this. So this should be a relatively simple formula. Let's see if I can write it in. Um, so some of these things I cut and paste and put in, and some of these things I write in for you out on the fly here. Uh, let's see if we can cut, uh, if, we can, if we can write this in without messing this up. And so uh, that first term, the first term right here, that's our y dev square. Uh, that we have here sum. Uh, so that's C5. So it looks like um, C5 over 10 square rooted. So let's just say that C, we're going to write it out here. Let's say that C8 is equal to um, C5 over 10 all square rooted. Okay, that's all good. Let's um, put this whole thing in parentheses to make sure we don't screw that up, uh, ordering of things. And then we're going to multiply it by this other term, uh, this term that's out here. So this other term looks like uh, 10 divided by. Uh, 10 times the sum of x squared, so divided by uh, 10 times uh, the sum of x squared, which sure looks like it is in column 6, so star c6 uh, minus the sum of x squared, so minus um, c7 squared. Okay, let's put another parentheses to close that up. I think that's probably good enough. Let's see what we get. I don't know if I messed that up as I went along. So I got 0 0.001. Um, that seems pretty small, but you see this R value. We, we, we did very small deviations from this line. Uh, so as long as I didn't typo anything putting that in there, I just did a, a relatively quick a calculation of what the uncertainty in the slope of our linear fit was. And I could do the uncertainty in the intercept down here as well. Uh, so you, and you see each point of the slope, uh, the slope is, the uncertainty in the slope is in the third digit, the third decimal place out here. And our residuals, uh, by and large, are in the first or second place. Uh, but they're sort of evenly scattered above and below, and they're, they're not you know, not very much right there. And so I'm not shocked 
that we would have such a small uh, uncertainty in the slope. But that's the way we go about doing this. I would test this and make sure I had everything right, uh, but that would be a little bit boring for you to watch. So we're not going to walk through this, uh, me testing it, double checking everything and going back through it. And again, we could have done this more um, automatically. We could have written, instead of writing the sums into these uh, columns out here, we could have written those sums into a formula right here and just bam, done this whole thing. Uh, I kind of like to do things where I write intermediate steps out so it looks like I can see, okay, what does, does that look like what I would expect it to be? Does that look like what I would expect it to be? Does that look like what I would expect it to be? So it slows me down a little bit. So you're walking this line uh, of slowing down a little bit, but then double checking things as you go along to make sure you like uh, what you see. So that's it. That's our introduction to measuring the uh, uncertainty in fit linear fit parameters, given some constraints there, given this idea that we have minimal uncertainty in X values relative to the Y values, that we can lock those X values right in, and that the Y values all have about the same uncertainty in them. They're all weighted about the same. So given those things, we walked through here, we could have done the uncertainty in the intercept, and, and often we would want to do that. But this is your introduction here. Uh, I hope it's helpful, everybody. Have a good day out there. And as always, thanks for watching.